All right, friends. Today we are going to be uh, finishing up the face of our little zombie, um, little zombie guy. And some of you may have already d gone ahead and done this, if, especially if you did two button eyes. Um, so you might be ahead of the game. I do want to remind all of you that you really do need to knot the back of your threads and make sure you leave a tail. If you have not done so, you may want to go back and maybe tape down the threads because you don't want this to be able to pull off, okay? <clears throat> so to finish up our little face, you're going to need a pen or a pencil. Um, and you are just going to draw out what you want to stitch. So I have my needle prepped with a long end and a tail. Again, no knot. Um, and you are just going to kind of draw out what you want to do. So I'm going to do I decided for my guy, I'm gonna do an X eye and then like a little squiggle face with his tongue sticking out. So this time, we are going to put a knot in our thread. So you're going to, going to go down to the end and you're going to pinch the thread in your thumb and forefinger. You are going to wrap the thread around your pointer finger one time and then you are going to roll it off and then pull it and that'll form your knot. Now this thread is so thick you could do the, the make a loop and pull if you'd like. But again that was pinch between your two fingers, wrap around once and then, where's my the camera's in a different spot than normal. There it is. Um, and then you're going to roll that ball off and then pull it. And it, it forms a very nice knot. Okay. So I'm going to start with my X. And I'm going to come from the back. And I'm going to be, I'm going to start beyond my line that I drew. And you don't have to draw your line this thick. I simply did that so you could see what I was doing. And we're going to back stitch. So I'm going to go forward and go through my work and pull. And then I'm going to come up just like we did with the heart. I'm going to come up this time. It actually happens to be in the center, just the way I drew my X. I come up through my fabric and instead of going forward like I did before, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to where I was and go in there. So you are creating like a straight line and then I'm going to go forward and come up. Going out of focus. I'm going to come up and then I'm going to go back to the end of the last stitch and pull down. My remote only guys already did kind of a little thing like this, so this should be just review for you. But for my other friends, this will be new. Okay, so I finished my first line. Now I'm going to, without cutting my thread, I'm not cutting my thread, I'm going to come from behind and come up the other side. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna stitch a quarter of an inch, pull up, I'm gonna go in the center again, and I'm going to go back where I was forward 
back. forward, back. Now if you've cut your thread a little short, you might have to knot off here. So this is what the back of my guy's head looks like. But I have enough thread or floss available, so I'm just going to continue with the smile. So I'm going to come down and the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to pull, oh, make sure that you, when you pull, you're not like gathering your head, make sure it's still flat. And I'm going to make the stitch, that's my little line. And then I'm gonna go forward on my line. Whoops. And back to there and then forward, and I'm just following that squiggly line that I made. Back. And since I made the line so squiggly, I'm taking kind of smaller stitches than if it was a straight line. And back. Whoops. down up down. so I'm going back and forth so that way I have a solid line for the mouth my mouth and then I'm going to do my tongue I think for the tongue I'm just going to do hmm I don't know maybe I'll do it this way just work my way around so it really helps to make that guideline for you um, so that way there's, you know, you have something easy to follow as opposed to trying to guess and then you get all kind of, you know, fumbled up. It's easier to follow a line. So I just kind of made up a little stitch there to make my tongue and it kind of just happened to work out that my red thread turned to pink at the perfect moment. And then I'm going to go to the back of my work and I'm going to loop, I'm going to slide my needle underneath a group of my stitches. And when I do this, you form this loop here. Then you're going to place your needle in the loop and pull it. Now you don't want to pull too, too hard because you don't want to gather up your stitches. You're then going to that loop you just made, you're gonna go back through it and do it again. So I went through that loop with my needle. This loop is formed. I put my needle in and I pull. And once again, you're going to leave, you're going to leave a tail. All right, once you have stitched your face, so my face looks like that guy, hello. Um, you are going to take a picture of this and post it. Good luck. Message with any questions.